Good morning everyone, how are y'all doing? This is Wisconsin Greg and uh, had a pretty big show planned for you today, um, but I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, if you can see in here, it's pretty much raining, uh, raining pretty heavily here. And uh, I wanted to go to the what they call the Badger Team and Get Show, which I made a video on, I think it was last year, I believe, it may, maybe the year before, but I think it was last year. And uh, I, I usually go there every year. It's an excellent show, and they got a huge uh, flea market. And uh, so I was planning on going there. I was working really hard yesterday to get stuff done all day, uh, get my laundry done, get the grocery shopping done. Um, sorry about the noisy rain. I'm going to try to talk louder so you can hear me. Uh, but anyways, I was trying to get stuff done so I could leave early this morning and get up there and uh, make a pretty good video. Uh, so. I got my grocery shopping done and uh, filled the truck up with gas. I uh, got all my camera equipment packed up and ready to go and charged and um, cleared my phone off of the videos that were on it and stuff. It takes a lot of time this stuff getting stuff ready to videotape. A lot of people don't realize. Um, and um, Anyways, I uh, was so busy yesterday getting ready, I kind of fell asleep at towards the end of the day and I forgot to set my alarm. I wanted to get up at 6 this morning. And uh, luckily enough, the weather radio that I have for emergencies went off with a big old alarm siren or whatever you want to call it. And it woke me up and it, out of a dead sleep and it was like 6.09, so luckily it woke me up. So that was a good thing. So I figured that was a sign from the heavens that I better get out of bed and get going. It's going to be a good day. Uh, but evidently I must have read those signs wrong because it is pouring rain right now. And uh, I looked on the radar and it looks like a pretty big storm. It's all the way even in the next state to the left of us. There's a couple states I believe on the radar. and um, it, it doesn't look like any time it's going to let up much. According to the uh, weather channel, it's showing it's supposed to reduce down to 30, 40 percent between 11 and 2. But uh, I don't think it's going to be a very good show. People are going to be leaving. All the flea market people are probably going to take off. And uh, it's going to be a muddy mess around there with the tractors driving around in the mud and stuff. So I don't know. I think I'm just going to skip that today. Uh, so I was out in the truck and everything all ready to go, so I just figured I'd end up going and get some breakfast. Uh, since I'm up, I had backup plans and stuff to make some other videos which are inside, which I might, might still end up doing. I had some requests, actually a couple people asking me about what I use for camera equipment, other questions about my equipment and stuff, so I figured out oh, maybe I'll make a video about showing what I started my YouTube channel with, what kind of equipment, and uh, what I advanced up to so far. Um, and uh, I thought maybe that would make a pretty good interesting video, so um, maybe that might be what I make today, I'm not sure. But anyways, right now I'm going for breakfast. And uh, unless the sun shows out and the uh, weather radi radar looks like it's going to go around us or something, I'm probably not going to be making that Badger Steam and Gas Show video. Um, it's a pretty cool show. They always got old tractors, uh, old tractors from the 60s all the way up to newer, but 60s, 70s tractors uh, all the way back to the steam engine, uh, where they use steam engine tractors uh, to plow the fields. And uh, they even have horses there plowing and uh, all these like uh, hit and miss engines that they used back then to pump water and do all kinds of other chores. They got all collections of them. And it was a pretty cool show. Uh, if you haven't seen my other video on it, I'll leave a link down in the description down below and you can go check that out. But that's from about a year ago, I think it was. I can't remember right offhand. Might have been two years, but I think it was last year. Uh, but anyways, uh, just telling you what I'm doing today and what how my day is going so far. Uh, <clears throat> but some days that happens. And, uh, I guess it's just a way of slowing people down sometimes and uh, getting them to 
get their stuff done around home, I guess. I don't know. The weather is the weather, and you're not going to change it. I'm going to turn this camera around so you can see what it's like out here. It's raining pretty good. Um, not sure if you noticed a little ways back there, I uh, ended up turning. I was going to go straight to Janesville, and uh, that way if I did decide, I could just head up I-90 and go up to Baraboo. Uh, but then I, I realized that uh, County Trong Gay is closed. Uh, I forgot they were doing construction on it. It's going to be closed, I think, almost until, like, I don't remember for all the next few months anyways. Uh, so I ended up turning right going up towards uh, up Highway 89 and I'm heading into Whitewater right now. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to get to eat. I don't even know if I want to get out in this stuff. I might just end up eating at McDonald's. Uh, anyway, I'm going to put you on pause here for just a minute and I'll be right back with you. I'm just uh, rolling into Whitewater, Wisconsin right now. It's, uh, not a real big town, but it's a uh, in the during the school season it gets pretty busy because it's a big college town. Uh, it's got what they call a University of Wisconsin uh, Whitewater, uh, pretty well known college around here. Uh, I know a lot of kids that have went here. Uh, I think it's known for its business, if I remember right, um, but I don't remember what they all teach there. But uh, it's a they get a lot of kids here during school season. Not sure if I've ever made a video in this town before or not, so that's why I thought maybe I'd turn this on and let you see what Whitewater is like. Kind of hard to see though with the rain, Dave, but. That's reality. Something you can't stop. Got to deal with it. I'm gonna turn left here, and I'll be driving right by the college. There's a lot of houses in Whitewater rented out to the college kids for places to stay and uh, to live during the school season. So it brings brings some money to the. Uh, lo local area here the college does and it gives some pretty good jobs uh, around the college workers and stuff so it's a good thing for this area college is kind of spread out um, different buildings and stuff uh, I don't really know in detail which buildings are which but most of them are off right on the right hand side here as we're going by really grown over the years this town uh, actually I guess all the towns around this area have but I remember when I was younger this town wasn't didn't have a lot of the stuff it has now Of course, when there's college kids, they gotta have food, so there's some fast food restaurants around here. And it also gives them some part-time jobs to work at while they're at school. Turn around here, there's a Walmart here. Pretty small Walmart. A 
used to be a grocery store next door here and I think the the school actually bought that and they're I think they're redoing it I'm not sure what they're gonna make out of it I don't keep up with this area too much I don't get to whitewater a whole lot Right over here, I believe, was where the grocery store was. And they're, they're working on it, doing something to it. And they're all fenced in. Also, there's a bunch of construction going on up there. I'm guessing that's something to do with the college, too. So it's expanding. So anyway, I'm going to put this on pause here for a minute and I'm going to see if I can figure out where I'm going to eat some breakfast and I'll be right back with you. Well, I ended up settling for the McDonald's Egg McMuffin meal. So I just pulled over here in town here so I could eat this and uh, I turned the camera on here so I th thought I could uh, show you some of the architect and the old buildings here in town. Uh, I like the way these old buildings are built. Uh, pretty cool uh, So I just thought I'd turn this on and give you a look at this old downtown part of it here And uh, that's about it. I'm gonna go back to eating my breakfast and then uh, when I leave here I'll turn this back on. I'll be right back with you All right, I'm done uh, eating my breakfast. I'm gonna head home and uh, I Guess I'm gonna be making a video on my YouTube camera equipment that I use and what I started out with uh, but I figured I'd leave this camera rolling for a little bit longer until I get out of town just so you guys can see what the town is like around here. Still coming down. I walked out in my fields. Uh, I have corn and soybeans. For any of the new subscribers that don't know, I have a small farm. I have uh, 40 acres of field corn and 40 acres of soybeans. I walked out in the soybean field the other day and I just randomly grabbed an average size plant and I pulled it out and uh, kind of inspected it and stuff and uh, counted how many pods were on there and there was 74 pods on there on one plant so looks like it's going to be a pretty decent year if they all mature and uh, fill out Good. that's a question that's another question uh, if they're going to get mature because they, they did get planted a couple weeks later than normal and uh it was a bad, hard time getting them planted because in the spring we had so much rain and stuff. Uh, the corn is coming along real good too. I looked at the ears on that and uh, they're filling out all the way to the end. Very good. Some years when you don't get rain, when it's filling out the kernels on the cob, uh, the ends, ends don't fill out. But this year they look really good so far and uh, there's more, more ears coming. So hopefully they keep coming and make more ears. So, anyways, uh, we might have some high drying bills this year over the corn, but uh, better than no crop at all, I guess. So, anyways, I'm going to end this video. Let me turn this camera around here just a second. So, yeah, I'm going to end this video, and I guess I'm going to go home and do some work around home, clean the house a little bit, and mail out some bills, and... Uh, probably start making that video on my camera equipment that I use for YouTube and what I started out with. Uh, so
So anyways, I want to thank you for watching me yak this morning. Uh, some things, sometimes things don't go as you want to, uh, but you just got to make the best of them. So we'll catch you all on the next video, and uh, most likely it will be the one with my uh, camera equipment. So stay tuned for that, and I uh, hope, hope you all uh, enjoyed my little chat this morning, and we'll see you later. Have a great day, everyone. Bye now.